Hi, thank you for joining. I'm Jesus. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your MBR system step by step. This process is when you have an MBR system that has built-in PoE ports for the network IP cameras. If you want to know how to connect your MBR system with an external PoE switch, uh, I will show you in the next video. This video only covers the MBR systems that has built-in PoE ports and that is the total number of channels. For example, if you have a four channel system and it has four built-in PoE ports, this is the video. And this video also applies for an eight channel or 16 channel MBRs with built-in PoE ports. So now, let's begin. So here we have everything we need to set up a complete MBR system. We have the MBR unit, with built-in PoE ports. We have the network IP camera with the network connection. We have our VGA cable. This could also be an HDMI if you have one. The network cables. Your router. Power supply for the unit and your standard BGA or HDMI monitor and at last your mouse. So now let's begin. The first thing you will do is you will get your MBR system, get a network cable and you plug it into the LAN port like so. And then the other end of the cable Plug it into any available ports in your router. This is a, just an illustration, like so. So now you have your MBR connected into your router. Let's just set that on the side. Second, you are going to get another network cable and connect it into any of the available built-in PoE ports. This is for the camera. So now let's connect one, like so. And then the other side of the cable, you will connect it into your IP camera. The IP camera has a network connection for the Cat5 cable, like so. So now, because it's built in PoE, the MBR unit will provide power to the IP camera and you don't have to provide power or external power into the 12 volt DC power supply. So now, now we have the MBR connected to your router and also connected to the IP camera. The next step, you get your USB mouse and connect it into the back USB port right here, like so. Then you can get the BGA cable or HDMI cable if you have one. You will connect the cable. This one is BGA, so I will connect it here into the BGA port. And the other side of the cable, I will connect it into my monitor or my TV. In this occasion, I got this monitor that it has a BGA connection, so I will connect it into the BGA connection. Like so. So now I have, now I have my MBR unit. Now I have my MBR unit connected to the router as well as the network IP camera as well as the mouse and the VGA to the monitor. Last thing, I will get my power supply. This is a bigger power supply because this MBR units require 48 volts 
to power the camera through the built-in PoE ports. So I will get the power supply, then get the power cord connected, and this will go into your wall outlet, and the other side of the power supply will go into the MBR. So now on the MBR is in this location, on the left side. And now, for last thing, if you did not have your monitor connected to the power, you get the other power cord and you do the same steps. You connect this side to the monitor. And this side to your wall outlet. And the last thing you need to do is simply turn on your MBR system. Now, let's go over again really quick. You have your MBR system connected to your router. Also, you have a kappa cable that's connected to the IP camera. The IP camera does not need power because the MBR system provides power to the camera. You have your mouse connected as well to control the DVR, I mean the MBR. And then you have your VGA or it could be an HDMI cable connected to your monitor. In this case, I have a VGA monitor, so I'm using a VGA cable. And at last, the power supply for the MBR and also the monitor. And that's it. That's how you set up and connect an NDR system with built-in PoE ports. Thank you for joining. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button, share, and subscribe for more upcoming videos. For more information, visit our website, easternctv.com. Thank you for watching.